Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night. Whenever you're watching us, we're so thankful you're here. Thanks for being here. Hey, we're on a journey through that book of beginnings, Genesis. We're on Lesson 66. You can check out most of them in the playlist. If not, the others should show up. Some are spelled through with an O-U-G-H, some are T-H-R-U. We just experimented with several different types. Sister Waldron's over there changing the clocks. It's time change times, the beeps you hear. But let's get started. We're in Genesis 33, verse number 24, lesson 66. Again, thank you so much for being here. This is one of the most famous episodes in all of Holy Scripture. And Jacob was left alone. This is Genesis 33, 24. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Now, it's a man. It's variously described throughout Scripture. It's a man, angel, or God. Okay, so mankind's in the image of God, so we can see that. It's an angel. Could be an angel of the Lord. Could be a theophany. Could be a Christophany. Some don't believe Christophany has existed. That's a whole other video series we've done here. Um, but he's wrestling, okay? And so he's just had so much happen. And he's fled. And now he's going to this dramatic time where he meets Esau. And so verse 25, And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. So notice this in verses 21 through 23, passes over the river Jabbok. A lot of people would say this is a type of water baptism. Wrestles with God, gets touched by God, the angel of God. Nobody's seen God at any time. But and then he walks different, and he's going to get a different name. And that's what happens to us at water baptism. And so... Verse 26, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. Now, a lot of people uh, have made a lot of hay on that, that angels are sent out at daybreak. And this is the reason you do morning prayer and all that. Um, and he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Except thou bless me. So Jacob knew the power of blessing because he had deceived his brother out of the blessing with Isaac. So, and so he knew this was something supernatural. Verse 27, and he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Now we obviously know one angel can destroy 180,000 plus Assyrians. There's no way Jacob could have wrestled this angel and prevailed. This has to be some type of typology used by God. All right. And he said to him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, The angel says to Jacob, verse 28, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. So you can see the typology. He's saying, Not only have you wrestled with Laban, Esau, you have wrestled as well with God, and you have prevailed. Verse 29. And verse 29. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. Okay, you ask me my name. What's your name? And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. So he basically says, I'm not going to tell you my name. <laughs> verse 30. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Now, that's Jacob's understanding of what went on. Obviously, he did not see God. God is invisible a couple times in the New Testament. No man can see God and live. Moses saw his hinder parts. You can't see God's face. You can see the Word of God. A lot of people think the Word of God is a visible express image of the invisible God, and that's that part that's visible. It's the Father manifested and eventually manifested in flesh. Verse 31, And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. It means he limped. Verse 34, Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day. So this is Moses writing this. It's, what, three, four hundred years later, something like that. 
I don't have my Usher's chronology in front of me, my Floyd Nolan Jones, or even my Schofield or Thompson has great chronologies in there. They have Usher updated a little bit by Lloyd, I think. Which is upon the hollow of the thigh and to this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. So that's a great proof of the Bible hundreds of years later. Still not doing that about the thigh that uh, shrank. And so Jacob wrestles with a man. Angels appear as men in scripture. Wrestles with this man. God lets him kind of not be defeated so he can be renamed Israel. And again, type of water baptism. Cross a river. Prince with God, different name, walk different. Pretty amazing. And this is referred to not only in scripture later, just as Jacob's ladder is, but in popular culture that people talk about uh, this wrestling episode with uh, Jacob and the angel. So God bless you. Hey, thanks for being with us. Continue to pray. Read the word of God on your own. But we'd love for you to be here as well. We've done the whole book of Romans verse by verse. You might find that interesting. A lot of doctrinal, some history, but a lot of doctrinal. And we're in the process of doing Matthew and Proverbs as well as Genesis. The goal, I'm 56, who knows? We don't know when Jesus is coming back. But by the grace and help of God, love to go through the whole Bible verse by verse. Also writing a verse by verse commentary series on the Bible. We've got the first three uh, lessons done, first three volumes of Genesis done through Genesis 17. And by the time you see this, we may have the fourth one done. And it's going to be a big one through Genesis 25. Uh, but I don't think so. But maybe, because you may be seeing this a year or two from now, we may be done with Exodus by then. Talk with you later. God bless you. Bell notification when you subscribe. Amen.